All right, hey, how's it going out there? <laughs> AG Surfer, back with a hopefully a proper vid. It's daytime. Uh, you know, I'm still trying to recoup from, I don't know if it's, recoup a little bit from yesterday. I'm drinking this nice green stuff, man. This is uh, it's one of those, what is it, the Bullet or something? The Nutra Bullet? One of those blended deal machines. Um, yeah, you know, after my little rant, after my little, you know, after hanging out in the chat room on the uh, Comic Book Fanatics show they do every Sunday after hanging on that chat room yesterday. I figure I gotta you know it's back to the work, so no more drinking, get back to the healthy stuff. So <laughs> anyways. Oh uh, you know I I tried to do a vid late Friday night and uploaded it. Didn't like the way it was turning out. Um I did like some parts of it so I wanna show off just a couple of books and then I'll try to splice a video together. Um if it doesn't get spliced, then this will probably be the video that just gets uploaded then because it's all about the books. The first half of my video was comic book related items. And the last half of the video that I didn't really like was based on my comic books. So I'll just show them off again real quick and then I'll get cracking. So these were the, um, cause I just got these books on Friday. Excuse me. I just got these books last Friday along with the civil war captain America, uh, box, the collector's court. And there's a lot of great videos out there about this box and folks that cracked it open. So I'm not even going to, you know, I'm not going to bother. In fact, you'll see some of it maybe in that. If I'm able to splice it, you'll see some of this in the first vid. So, but there's a lot of other, a lot of other great YouTubers out there that's done a fantastic job presenting this box and showing off the goodies. Uh, Barbarian Reviews was one of them. Um, that's, uh, that's the only name I can come up with. <laughs> but a uh, great channel. Great, great gal. Um, I mean, I should put a link below. So last Friday I got the box and then I got, um, two of my comic books back from CBCS Portland uh, that I had gone to earlier this year. That was, uh, February. So yeah, I want to go ahead and show these, show the comic books off. Uh, this is, uh, you know, Green Lantern, Green Arrow, or basically it's just titled Green Lantern 87. Issue number 87. Uh, first John's first appearance of John Stewart. It's his second appearance of Guy Gardner cameo. And first, Elliot Saint, or Elliot S. Ma Megan's I imagine story, something. Uh, Neil Adams, Dick Dick Rodano, Dick Rodano art, butchering that guy's name. A story by Denny O'Neill and Elliot Saint, yeah. Megan. Oh uh, yeah, so this this was a comic I had signed by Neil Adams previously in the past, just never submitted it. And then when I went to Portland, I, excuse me, I went to Portland, I got uh, Denny O'Neill to autograph for me right here. And then I submitted it, but I went through CBCS because I wanted to get that signature verification witness. And that what, that's what this red label is all about. When you submit a book into CBCS that's been signed but not witnessed, um, you know, you'll pay a little fee. And then they'll just simply put in the title heading here. Uh, it does say signed by Neil Adams. But then when they witness, it'll be a little more specific where... It states signed by Denny O'Neill on 2-20-2016 at Wizard World Portland. So that's that's really the difference. Um, but I knew that Neil Adams was legit because I physically met Neil Adams, handed him the comic book, got him to autograph it. And back then I didn't have a donut issue with him. There was no donuts around. <laughs> so no donut issues with uh, Neil Adams then. That was a shout out to Manny. Manny NYC. But people out there know that already. Most folks know that, man, with the donuts. So, Donuts and Neil Adams. The second book I got, because this video is getting long-winded just for a couple of books, um, from Portland Comic Con. And I just submitted to CBCS. Um, I showed off my CGC books earlier. I'm going to have to go back and get those. Boy. But um, was this Amazing Spider-Man number one. I just I turned the book over to Randy Amberlin, and then I just asked for a sketch of Black Cat. And this is what Randy drew up for me, man. So just fantastic, just awesome. I kind of dig the old, you know, his style, his artwork is just choice. It's my second sketch done by Randy Emlin so far. My other sketch I had him on a book was, um, it's a Harley Quinn that he did for me that I really enjoy. And I really enjoy this black cat and especially the grade too. I mean, come back a nine, eight, fantastic. Uh, especially for a sketch, something you get done as a sketch. Uh, with the, so the next time I meet Randy Emlin, I'm going to have to, you know, I'm going to have to get a Spider-Man done by him. I'm going to have to ask him and, See if he's got time and sketch up a Spidey for me, because I mean, I got another. I've gotten most of my sketches have been chicks. 
<laughs> most of them have been women. Um, but now I got I really want a Spider Man. So and Randy's one of the originators, uh, in my opinion. I mean, he came in late in the game after Tom McFarlane had taken off, and uh, Eric Larson stepped in. Um, and then right around Eric Larson, yeah, then Randy Emblen came in and started inking. And he was doing inks and arts on some of the books. Um, so, yeah, he's just, a, I think he's a fantastic guy. Pleasure to meet it every time I see him at a con. If you ever get the opportunity to meet Randy Emblen, I highly recommend it. Such a great guy, great artist. So that's that book. And you know what? Let me, uh, let me just set this book up here, and I'm going to run and try to grab some of my other two books. I'm just so ill-prepared for my first video back. It's been a couple weeks. Rest in peace, Prince. Rest in peace. Um, I've got some CDs and whatnot. I didn't, again, I wasn't prepared. I didn't feel like breaking out CDs, but I came across this comic and thought, let me throw it up there in honor of Prince. Um, you know, everyone, you know, this book, it's crazy how this book now, because with the unfortunate passing of Prince, how this book has blown up, I guess, in price. You know, it was just a cover priced book, and now folks, I guess, are asking, you know, $40 on up. I assume you could probably still find one for 20 but I, have, I haven't been looking. From what I've heard, it's $40 on up. And that's just, that's just kind of crazy in my opinion. But uh, I'll be right back. All right. So rest in peace, Prince. I'm just stoked to have one of these. I, I've, when, these cover, when these movie cover swipes are coming out, I pretty much got most of them. I, except for the Magic Mike. Yeah, I don't think I got that cover, movie's cover swipe. But the back row, I know I picked that up. And I, but then, again, I was, I was like, oh, did I get doubles? Did I get singles? I got singles. I'm cool. At least I got one. Yeah, this was the, uh, from Portland also. But these were, I submitted two to CGC. You know, and these were in a vid earlier. Um, but the vid was like all sideways. It's done the iPhone. I'm on the iPad, so you get this nice widescreen. You can see the books together. So these were the bad boys I ended up with, and I submitted to CGC as opposed to CBCS. And basically, the reason behind that was this was already a slab 35 from CGC, so I had taken it over there. Um, it was a slab 35 signed by Neil Adams from CGC that I just took it over there to get him to crack it open so I could add Denny O'Neill. So, but that was that was the reasoning behind that. And then you know what? I still like CGC. Every and it seems like a lot of you know a couple of company you know CGC and CDC has have been having their issues lately. Um, hopefully they work that stuff out, get back on track, and do the right thing. And you know what? I just let me show these books. I brought this. I brought these out because I wanted to put these two Green Lanterns in the same frame. Two of my favorite books. I was really stoked they came back seven five. It's always been a loose book, and never, it never. I didn't have this thing slapped before. Um, and just doing an, when I quickly glanced over this comic, what I was thinking about was if I'm in the nine, if I hit like a nine Oh or nine two, I thought, wow. Um, and my low point was a seven five. I was thinking, okay, as long as I get at least a seven five or higher, I'm cool. Um, so if it dipped below seven five, it might've been a little, I don't know if the term is heartbroken or disappointed more or less if it, if it dipped below seven five. But, um, the fact it's a seven five white cover and all that that goes along with it i'm totally stoked so all right and with that i shall close out this vid and maybe i get a couple more vids in real quick um for some great folks out there in youtube land there's a lot of you out there uh thanks again and uh take care